starters and our guys picked it up and played hard to, to compete at home, and that's what you got to do. And I thought we just played tough, tough defense. I don't know what they shot for the game, 37%. That tells me that we defended. And, uh, you know, they hit a couple of buckets at the end. We, our goal was to keep them in the 50s, and, and I thought our guys worked that hard to get that done. The question for the three. It's when you struggle from the line so much early on, then you you two made your last twelve down the stretch. You know what? What do you do when you, they're rimming out on you like that? Well, the coach told us this game was going to come down to free throws. Um, we, we, if we would have made our free throws, um, we would have pretty much dominated this team. But we uh, we struggled at the line, but uh, we focused in at the end and came together. Mm -hmm. Anton, you had uh, you had bass most of the night. He, he's a freshman. A lot of people think he's one of the top freshmen in this league. He was a load tonight. Can you talk about your battle with him? Uh, no, he didn't have bass. He didn't have bass. No, no, no. He was guarding a guard. Uh, the guard was guarding he bass. Was on him a lot. Yeah. He was, he was, okay, then I stand corrected. Okay, I'll pass on the question. Uh, Trey, just uh, talk about the last. I just want to give all the glory to God because that's who I play for. But um, I want to thank also the, my teammates always um, stay in my head about you know staying confident and, and believing in myself. All the guys behind me. So, uh, but it's it's easy to get off when you have uh, they can't stop one person out there. Like as you can see, we have a team with multiple threats. So um, on any given night, any of us could, could go off. For any of you guys, given the circumstances, two starters down and uh, and a pretty good team coming in here uh, and a slow start. Uh, do you think this was as good a victory as you put together all year given those circumstances? I mean, I don't think we ever expected to lose. Um, we had two starters down, but <clears throat> us three as, 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 a, as a unit, we knew what we had to do. We knew we had to give more and we had to do more, so we never doubted one time that we can win this game. And I believe um, the game, Youngstown game, helped prepare us for this game with playing other players off the bench. Like Vinny had a good game in Youngstown. Kaiser came in and played good. So that, that kind of gave them confidence coming into this game, knowing that they was going to have their role in there and everything. Anton, Trey, Grady, all three of you guys have really stepped up. And it's shown on the court. You all three have been putting up double, double figures. And scoring, assists, and rebounds category. So has anything changed down the stretch as far as any of practice or collectively among the leaders on the floor to where the success is coming to fruition now, right, at the start of conference play? I, I would just say all three of us, like, I mean, I can, see, I can see by all of our play that we all playing like it's crunch time, like it's coming down to, to conference play. And you can, you can see by our play that we really picked it up we playing together. I mean, we're playing really good together out there on the floor. We're communicating. We're playing on defense all on the same page. And we're just all playing like we want to win a championship. Yeah. Our team go as far as we go. So, you know, if we playing with a championship mindset, then that's how the rest of our team going to play. And for us, we all seniors. So we know how the game go. We know when to control the game, speed it up, and everything like that. This is a question for all the players, because I was actually in the crowd tonight, and there was a big contingent of uh, a student section, which is, yeah. that's a rare thing to see. Do you guys see the student section getting behind you a little bit more this year? They're definitely, definitely starting to come out and support us more and, that, and we're feeding off of that energy. So yeah, you know, we've it. been encouraging people to come out to our games and the whole city of Cleveland, you know, Cavs struggling, but we, we on the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they're picking they're it up. Like, they're, 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 like, they're like 35. Oh, right now, right? Yeah, I want to go on record, Cavs not struggling. <laughs> Let the GM know that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you got you got the big 3-0 tonight, but um, and it, it 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 may not show up so much on the stat line. But a lot of guys who haven't played many minutes this year had to come out and play tonight. Maybe they didn't score a lot of points or do a lot of stuff. But can you talk about what the contributions from the seven, eight, and nine guys meant tonight? Yeah, that, that's the strength of our team right there. The, the, the things that really don't go in the stat book. Uh, how hard we're playing, the effort, uh, consistent, not um, on a consistent basis. That's the stuff that don't go in the stat book, but that's the things that make up our team, and we feed off of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, twelve back, particularly there in the second half, as you were coming back and then take the, taking the lead, and then back to that. Did you, did you 
I mean, teams don't like our pressure, you know. That's one thing we got the advantage on other teams is that we play hard and we're going to pressure. You know, teams like to play comfortable. They don't want you all in their face. So if we do that, then we change the way their offense run. And then down the stretch of the game, teams starting to get wore out, and that's when we, 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 have, we have another level that we can take it into because the way we practice. Yeah. They build us to be able to play at the end of the game and with that intensity. And coaches, all, the coaches have been doing a really good job lately teaching us how to expect to win. We're still learning. Constantly learning, but down the stretch of games, that's when we're really starting to focus in and do uh, make winning plays down the stretch. I when don't you, think. Go ahead. When Detroit went on that 16-4 to run the takeoff, uh, they've got 43-34 lead. Coach Mark called timeout. Yeah. 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 Ye
about eight guys came to me and they were all telling me their points and views and everything. And one guy said, well, hey, you know, I played in the NFL and I'm from, from Ignatius. And, and I thought, I said, well, that's, he said, he said, I'm from Ignatius and there's going to be a time and you may have to use guys you've never used before. And I thought of Sloan, I had never used before. Then another guy told me another thing and I thought of that. And all these things they kept filling my head with, it allowed me to just think, hey, push this team forward. And, and even our message in the locker room was about David and Goliath. And uh, they went out and they played like, uh, like David. Look, um, you said after a Youngstown game, it's early, but we'll take it. Oh, well, it's still early, but you're, you know, but you're six and one. I mean, yeah, it's still early. I, I, still I, know, still I know you're holding back. No, 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 because I don't tell them I'm holding back. But it sure beats four or three, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, it does. I will definitely say that. But at the same token, you need to be aware that we got to take one game at a time, and you have to control your home. If you lose your home, that's when the, the situation hurts you. And, uh, and we got a game, we go on the road our next game, but then we come back home to play, in my estimation, the best team in our league, and that's Green Bay. Let me, let me rephrase that then. Um, you didn't like my answer, you tell No, 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 I did <laughs> like the answer. But do, you, do you sense that maybe there's a, a sort of belief building in this team, uh, a sense of belief in themselves and their ability? You know, well, I, I don't know if that's growing. I think they've had it the whole year. See, I, I think we sometimes equate, you know, our records and how we do early with what type of team you have. I knew this team was going to go compete down the end. They just had to get through some of these high majors we were playing, and they had to learn from these games. Now, does that mean you're going to have a, you're going to win all your games after that? No, it does not mean that. But they, they mean that they now can compete against these guys and won't see any fear. And that's, you know, when you play these high majors and you play that big schedule at the beginning, which we're going to do every year, it makes you, when you come back to your conference and you look at your, 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 your conference teams, they don't, they don't seem as large to you. It's not as magnified that you got to fight. The, you didn't play bigger guys. You didn't play. I mean, this was a big team today. Think about it. They started 6'10". Six, six, uh, their four-man was, which is Bass, who was really their, uh, a guard, playing the four. He's 6'9", okay, and then they have the other kid that can really shoot the ball, Jenkins, who's 6'7", okay, and then they have the, 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 the best scorer in our lead, again, Howard, at 6'6", and we got little Charlie, and we got Kaza now in there, who's the, just a step above Charlie, and who else was in there? Uh, we got Trey, who's not the tallest person in America, and you got to understand, we did not have... Uh, we did not have uh, Marlon, so. So that brings you back to the whole David and Goliath thing. Is that something you guys had a, a first round thought about where you know Trey took that hard hit to the ground and not to be clinched with that board? Did that kind of ignite a fire that you seen on your team? Well, I think that fire was ignited a, a lot sooner than that. You know, when they took that lead and went up by nine, and then we called the timeout and and. Uh, and, and we talked about it, and I like they said, I got on them pretty hard, but I said, hey, we're not losing this game in this house. This is our house. People coming into our house. I think the fire was lit up then. Right. And with Trey uh, taking the Horizon League Player of the Week honors, he had consecutive 20-point games tonight. He put up 30. Uh, what is What would you say is his mindset as a player, and what is his relationship going like um, all three of them are seniors going forward? Do you see any um, potential for a career after well, Trey is just a junior. Trey's a junior? Yeah, he's got another year. Yeah, uh, when he's talking about that, he's talking about Marlon himself and Anton. But Anton can, Anton can keep having another year as well. So, I mean, it's not a, the, the, the cupboard ain't bare yet. <laughs> well, just, just one more question for me about your big three. I mean. and, 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 and let me say this to you before you say that. I had talked to them and told them, you three have to come because we can't, we can't overcome this team unless – and I don't like to call them that word, big three, unless you three get it done. And I, and I, I, I mean, I hit them hard in the locker room about that. And I even use example before? before the game. I said, hey, you need to understand is you guys got to help support these three, and these three's got to play today. Because you can look down the line. You go in the NBA, you take the three, you take San Antonio. Their big three have to come if they're going to win a game. I was, and I told them, and, I, and they laughed a little bit. I said, and if the Cavaliers understand they got three, they, they, and they come, they'll, they'll win games. Mm -hmm. Did you just find 
Does the worry is that Trey Lewis plays 40 minutes today alone? No, 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 no. I mean, we got a whole week to rest. I mean, no, we got two days. Huh? I got to give him some. <laughs> 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 yeah. Monday, 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 right? Up at Rochester. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one because they don't lose much at home. Not at that they, place. Yeah. They don't even have two days. No, yeah, that's right. You got one day. <laughs> and so, no, nah, you know, he knew he had to play hard He'd been a long time because well, some players know how to handle it, and some players don't. I mean, well, he knew he had to play that way without DeAndre, uh, without Andre. Because see, Andre, see, that's twenty-five minutes out of our lineup, and that, and and ten of those are Trey's minutes that he took over, and and those were important minutes that we needed. See, and and our freshmen, they 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 actually helped us today. You know, Kenny, uh, Kenny Carpenter came in and did a few things, and, and Terrell played hard defense and did a few things. They helped us. But where they helped us more than anything is they gave us time, and that's what we needed. We needed time. See, he would have got more time, but what, uh, or not more time, but less time, if uh, they weren't playing f four guards. Mm -hmm. See, and I had to match them with guards or because our big guys couldn't stay out there with them. And so that means I had to. I needed another guard into the equation, so he couldn't come out of the game. If they would have had a, a normal a four and five, I could have given him, given him some rest, and I would have both halves. Was that part of the reason that? Um, but now another thing hurt. The reason why I couldn't give him any rest. Charlie got three fouls in the first half, mm -hmm. and then he got his fourth, so I had to take him out. So I mean that was a tough situation. He, he's out there alone with all freshmen. I mean that's a tough situation. Um, you know about the four guard lineup. Is that part of the reason that um, you know Vinny started, and as the game went on, he and um, Flanagan, you know, they saw less minutes? Is that well, Flanagan played. Well, Flanagan, played a fair bit. I think Flanagan played a little bit. Flanagan uh, played twenty minutes. Okay. I mean, no, you're talking about oh Flanagan. No, no, I'm the, I'm talking about Sloan. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, Sloan yeah. played twenty minutes. No, Flanagan wasn't going to play much because he, he 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 didn't feel like playing today. This was one of his days off. Uh, the the one that. Sometimes. Yeah, you get that sometimes. The one that I wanted to play, I really wanted to play a little bit more was Scales, because Scales was playing hard out there. Mm -hmm. um, down the stretch, did, did Anton get hurt at all, or was that just offense defense when he came out? I saw yeah, it was offense defense. Yeah. They, had, they had five guards there, mm -hmm. so he would have to guard a guard outside. Yeah. So that's why he would get that out there. Um, how is Terrell's ankle doing? I mean, he looked fine tonight. No, he's, doing, he's much better. Yeah. He's much, it's still swollen, but he's much better. Mm -hmm. uh, the one person I got to really commend today, he did a great job. He just didn't shoot free throws well. He did everything else well was Anton Green. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he had four blocks, 14 rebounds. Yeah, I, mean, that, I mean, that's big time. Th that one big block, didn't that kind of turn around the game? I thought so. I thought it ignited everybody. That's when we went up by four, and I thought that changed the whole complexity. Early on, they were doing a lot to deny him and double him and trap him. You know, did you make it a you know tell the guards at any point to make, make sure you keep looking for him? Well, we had to. Yeah. We, we it had to either we had to drive it inside or throw it inside because we had to keep the pressure on him. Mm -hmm. A couple of reasons. One, we were in the bonus. Why shoot threes? Yep. Okay. And then uh, and then they were following us. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the officials understood that, but they were following <laughs> the heck yeah, out of us. Anton Grady. Do you think that that catches a lot of guys off guard? Were you able to do that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he's in the right position to do so because normally you would play him at a four, and he's playing our inside position, and he's quicker than that guy. Mm -hmm. And so he's, he's taking advantage of that. Mm -hmm. Anything else, guys? Yeah, could you talk about Oakland maybe uh, both Bethel and Green Bay at the home court? <laughs> they beat everybody when they go home. <laughs> Yeah, they, that's a tough game. Yeah, they're, they they play pretty confident because they got, in my estimation, one of the best point guards in our league, and he controls the game. And if you let that big the big guy inside go, they they really hurt you because they got a both inside outside concept. They so, you know they they too have one of the biggest teams in our league. So in your eyes, is there anything that you saw today that you know that you would like to clean up heading into that matchup against Oakland? You got to make free throws, and you know it's funny. You know, uh, that was my fear this entire week. And every time I came to practice, I wanted them to, you know, we go and we just, we go into the, 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 the practice facility and everybody shoots 100 free throws. 
but I didn't have time. And, and it really, that time really hurt us this week because school started. And I have Anton, who only can go to, uh, go an hour on Tuesday and Thursday because he got a class. And then I got, on, on Monday, Wednesday, I got, uh, 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 tr um, Charlie can only go one hour because he's got a class. Yeah. Now, you would say, why give him a class like that? They're, it's their senior class. And if they couldn't change it, they had to take it. Who don't know? He's got a high ankle sprain, and that at least takes two to three weeks usually. Okay. Yeah, honey, mm -hmm. two to three weeks. And, uh, and and you know, and what they say about it is the ankle can go down, but it is, you push ligaments, and every time you you put pressure on them, you hit them, the ligaments are, are hurting. So they said it's a hard thing to deal with, as opposed to a low, lower ankle sprain. It just all you did is rupture the things on the outside. This team seems to have a different type of swagger than years past. I mean, Anton was kind of talking the game a couple of years ago, but I think he's finally to the level. He's well, he's healthy. That's, a, that's the whole thing with Anton. When he's healthy, he's, I mean, think, I'm going to tell you something, guys. As a freshman, I thought he was going to be the best player in the league. I mean, he was dominating as a freshman. And, and he was behind somebody, so he just played the role. But the last, like the last six games, he averaged about 18 points a game. And I said, man, this next year he's going to dominate this league. But then he got hurt. Then the next year he got hurt. <laughs> and now he's finally coming back. Now he's had three op me operations. He's finally coming back. Because he went up one time. I don't know if you've seen that rebound. And the guy was reaching up, and he went way over him. And I said, well, that's the head time I know. Not trying to get you in trouble, but any comment on the officiating down the stretch? No, can't do that. Okay, yeah. okay. Can't do that. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. <laughs>